friends welcome back to my channel this is marissa today i have a scrap diva designs project to share uh this die set is available so definitely um head over to scrapdivadesigns.com and don't forget to use my discount code mwalker10 um i used the alf mini album but instead of doing it the you know alf style in my mind i um was thinking a santa um album because i feel like if it went across like that it could be like this part here of his coat and then the black belt up here would be um, super cute with the gold buckle so that's why i did it this way i, I do have a regular elf one coming and also my um heidi swap album that i'm creating i'm almost done with it it's just taking me some time to um, finish it up but I decided to make this a large sequence shaker. And oh my gosh, you guys, I pulled out um, these red and white circles that I actually just picked up. But I had them already stored. Oh my gosh, you guys. Some days I'm on it, other days I'm not. And I used uh, Happy Crafter Shop's gold rings in there. These are so cute. I have more sequence mixes coming, so I'm going to share those soon. And then I also um, added the little bells from the die set. I threw them in there. It's kind of hard to tell because I was going to put this whole thing that said Santa Claus is coming to town, but I did not like the way it looked. I went through my stash of stickers and I found this jumbo Santa. I don't even know where I picked it up um, or when I got it, but I'm pretty sure it was from Hobby Lobby because it. I think... I got rid of the um, wrapper it came in or the package. And I think, I want to say it was paper. What's their, I don't even know their name. Paper something is their collection. But anyways, I just slapped it on there and I added the bell up top. And then I found these hollies, which were super cute. I also used the Christmas words number three. I think it's like A2 or something like that as well. And it has the peppermints december candles candy cards santa and claws and so i cut it out of the same glitter cardstock to kind of match it up and then i added these fun glittered hollies i just i love the way it looks it's all like reddish and green and this of course my favorite um trim right now i had to add some and i had some gold that i finished up Woohoo! i finished a spool Okay, so this is just going to be a simple scrapbook. And I have um, spots for photos. I made pockets on some of them. So cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I use some of Heidi Swap stickers um, or sticker stamps down here. And then here I made the belly band. I pulled out the um, ribbon ruffle border from Scrap Diva and I made a little belly band there and then I added some um, these are charms that I had in my stash but this is one of um, Happy Crafter Shop's latest beads so cute and it's just a little journaling spot or for photos and it's gonna slide back in real simple over here I left it simple and just put this word believe this is a Heidi Swap um, it's like an older die set but this is years ago I've had it um, in my stash and I thought it'd be perfect to add here and then I made a very interactive um, layout here with the tuck spot and I added this fun little Santa I had them put together and I just thought it'd be a good spot for it and then I just was like oh let's add some more Santas there so that's why I added this Santa and then this is part of the paper collection um, I just fussy cut out and then I had these stickers so I added there and then this I just picked up these ornaments so these are from Michaels and they're just um, I threw away the top art but they're just tags and I thought it'd be cute to put a brad and then I glued um, the bottom one down and I uh, cut out the circles with the snowflake paper and so it's like a cute little place to put photos there so cute and that's a fun way to use those blank tags and then I just made a little pretty um, layout here. I added um, this border that I had in my die set um, collection. I think I picked this up last year at Michael's, but I'm not 100% sure. And then I used Erica's new foliage um, from the door. I think it was the door um, die set. And I 
used all the foliage that I had cut out. I threw it in there. And then over here, I just made, um, I have this ribbon that I just I love it. I thought it went well with the collection. And then I added one of those Hobby Lobby poinsettias there. And then this last page, I did have stickers that kind of match the paper um, from the collection that I used. And so I thought I'd make a whole layout using just the stickers from it. And so this is what I came up with. And the paper collection that I used is from Michaels. It was the Cottage Christmas. And I also had the 12, uh, the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6. And then I had some stickers that were from last year. My like they matched up perfectly. So I don't know if they continued it. And and I ended up just using um, that for it. But oh my gosh, you guys, I just love how this turned out. So definitely head over to Scrap Diva Designs if you haven't picked up this die set because you don't have to use it just like that. It's also like just a fun, um, different little like type of book that you can just create, you know, your own little album. And I love that it comes with the binding and it has, you know, multiple layers. So definitely check it out. Um, head over to Instagram too for hashtag Scrap Diva Designs for ideas and inspiration because... Oh my gosh, everybody is creating the best stuff right now. I love it. I'm super inspired and I am going like no joke have like about seven different projects all cut up and in different totally different like spots where I'm out. <laughs> I jump from one to the other. It's horrible. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and come back for some more um, project shares and tutorials that I'm going to be uploading here in the next couple days. Bye guys.